Okay, so we are in Boston, Massachusetts right now at Kellen Partners, and we are with Lane Sutton from KidCriticUSA.com. Hi, Lane. Hi. Oh, so, Lane, I'm so interested to hear. You you became an entrepreneur at age five, is that correct? Yes. Um, that was when I started. I took a tour of my local newspaper company, and um, I was really inspired that people were getting paid to write, and so I came home that night. I don't know how I was typing at 5 and writing as well, but till 2 a.m. I wrote a little newspaper and distributed it to local family and friends. That sounds somewhat familiar to some of the um, young entrepreneur ideas that Tony had. You, I assume you've read the book. Yep. So, you just read it last week, yeah, was I it? How did you come across the book in the first place? Um, Chris Rogan had done a video review of it, and so you follow Chris Rogan. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he's great. Thanks, Chris, that's right. Yeah, thank you, Chris. <laughs> For those who don't know, Chris Rogan is in the social media world, which apparently you do consulting for. Yes. So who do you consult with? Like what types of companies do you work with or individuals for social media? Um, I work with an autism speaker and activist, um, psychologist, and previously a college counselor. So, okay, so let's talk about this. Now, what, how did this all come about? What makes you tick? You've read the book. Do you just have this desire to grow things? Is it where does this come from, your, your inspiration? Um, entrepreneurial spirit. Um, I, my role models are Donald Trump and Steve Jobs. And so I don't know where it really came from, but my, parent, my dad's an entrepreneur as well, so he's a DJ. And um, I was really inspired by that. And um, I just wanted to get a leap on my career and start early. So what was your favorite part of the book? Um, I must say reading the employee stories uh, like there was one in there about the girl and her husband died I think and she came to Zappos first she called them up and that was really touching as well um, and hearing about the whole link exchange uh, acquis acquisition and how you really grew it and the party space and it was like a family there so where do you see your path going? What are your um, ideas for, for the future? Um, I want to be the CEO of a large technology company. Um, so I think this is all leading up to it. And I have a huge love for gadgets and technology as well. So, um, and I hope now, you know, learning so much and taking classes and, you know, going to conferences, I think it will really be helpful in the future. That's awesome. Well, and uh, my last question about the book: What was kind of what was the most surprising or strangest thing that you got out of the book? Um, I would say the worm farm. Um, that I mean, that was really interesting. You drove up, and um, it's not weird at all. Um, no, I don't know what everyone else's problem is. It's normal, right? You know, we actually at the launch party for the book in June, we raced worms in the spirit of... And, well, yeah, and then actually several people have been eating the worms, like the live earthworms at our parties. So uh, on the bus, we actually, instead of live earthworms, we have the sour gummy worms. And, uh, That's much better. <laughs> endless supply, endless supply. Well, thank you so much for coming here today. Anything else you want to share? No, um... I, it was really great meeting you, and if you want to learn more, you can follow me on Twitter, at KidCriticUSA, and um, I thank you, and I really learned a lot from your book. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, Lane.